Oh, great. The signs of the Zodiac are brawling again. Based on how they're typically represented, which of these... The Libra is just scales. That's what I am, by the way. I'm the Libra. <clears throat> um, Gemini is... Well, it's two, but they're just fish. Wouldn't it? It's either Sagittarius or Aquarius. Sagittarius is the archer and he's <clears throat> yeah, I knew one of them was archer. I couldn't remember which. Most of the people I meet, for some odd reason or another, have been Virgos or Scorpios. Like, probably 80 to 90% of the people I've met that I've actually found out what their zodiac sign is have been Virgo Virgos or Scorpios. It's time to know Jack. Now, Fuck it. This is what I like to see a player taking a chance because you just picked an impossible question. An impossible question. So, this is basically. A gamble because it's basically luck. One of these is right and gonna get you twenty grand, the other three are gonna own you for twenty grand. Alright, now I assume you bought a copy of every version of You Don't Know Jack, right? If you haven't, get your loser ass to the store and buy them all. Anyway, here's my impossible. I had them all at one point in time. The box cover of You Don't Know Jack Sports. What color eyes does the bald guy have? Green, Damn. Red, brown, or I wanna say four, but I think it's three. No, you're thinking of the Aryan bald guy from volume one. Damn it. You know, he kind of looks like powder. Bet you wish you'd pick this. Damn it, I should have picked three. Fuck. And you didn't just hit the pause button and take a look at the box. You are simply an unqualified bonehead. Let's see if I can make it back. I've got uh, seven questions. Okay, six questions. Gonna need a lot of night tall and get this one right. You got 4K coming your way. All right, everybody, take out your number two pencils and pick the answer that best completes this analogy. New York City is to insomnia as Chicago is to what? Psoriasis, asthma, hmm. dyslexia, or flatulence? Oh, Wendy. New York is known as the city that never sleeps, and Chicago is known as the Windy City. <laughs> Maybe they could fill Lake Michigan with this altar and take care of that. Category, please. I wouldn't let my dog eat it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh god. I don't think I've gotten a single one of these right across all the games I've played uh well since I started playing again. See if you can make sense of this gibberish category. Just funny considering how much I rhyme. Holy crap, ten grand. All right, as soon as you know the answer, buzz in. Prairie Ryan, let's see if I can make a comeback. Second and a half. All right, have a taste of this and see if you can tell me what it rhymes with. Phallus Chow, joy! We're feeders. Oh, League of Legends, there you go. Exclamation points throw you off. First clue, it's a famous group of women. You know, like the Go-Go's. It's a famous group of women usually seen at football games. Last clue. They really go for cowboys. Talk to me, type I thought it may have been Dallas Cowboys. Uh. Fuck. I thought that when I saw uh, usually seen at football games and I saw the uh, we're feeders. But then I was like, wait, well, they really have one just about that? Only got a grand, but at least I got it right. Big ass, big gut, stomping foreign people eater. What in the hell? <clears throat> yeah! Big ass, big gut, stomping foreign people eater. Four thousand big ones for a right answer here. <laughs> right, imagine Godzilla wants to shave off a few pounds before attacking his next city. If Godzilla goes on a diet and eats nothing but the Japanese legislation, Japan's parliament is called the diet. I always found that interesting. They actually call it the diet. I heard he was going to eat the United States <clears throat> Congress, but it was too full of calories. Or was it crap? Okay, I need a category. A dog and a psychiatrist's couch. <clears throat> Actually, speaking of Japan, 
Would you guys like to see uh, some of the footage and pictures I took when I went there in Tokyo, when I went to Tokyo in 2007, 2005, and for me to do like narration over it, sort of like a uh, documentary type thing? I've been wanting to do that for a while, and I recently got the okay to do it, so. Damn, I'd say to do three or four. Try three. Civil disobedience is a refusal to obey laws characterized by nonviolent resistance. Well, I'm down to only negative 500 after getting owned by the impossible question. Well, I have to pick Jim Carrey because Jim Carrey has been one of my favorite comedians for a long time. Probably was an influence on how I did my own comedic style as a kid. Unless this is referencing the hockey player. Jim Carrey's next movie were called Jim Carrey Nation about the female turn, turn of the century Carrey Nation. Nation. What? Oh my god, I don't know this at all. Shit, I'm gonna have to guess too. All those opposed, nay. Suck a fucking fat one. Yeah, that was like the last thing I would have guessed. Was famous for hatchetations or smashing bar rooms with her hatchet. But if you think that's bad, Damn. It's nothing compared to what she do when you left the seat up. What do you oh, oh, oh god. Well, I think we're on the last question here. We only got one more, so it'd be kind of a miracle if I can save this one. Here we have. Don't blink or you'll miss. I think I can bring myself back on the positive. It won't be much. It won't be by much. I need you to listen closely. In the future, everyone will be famous for... Time's up. Oh, come on. Who would most likely have said this? Albert Einstein, Fyodor Dostoevsky, Andy Warhol, or Robin Leach? I want to say three. Andy Warhol had said in the future, everyone will yep. be famous for 15 minutes. Little did they know that not even 15 years after the creation of this game, you two would be born and how true it would become. <laughs> yeah. I actually didn't even look at what I was picking when I picked this one. I just hit all three numbers. By now, I'd hope that you've seen uh, games one and two of this series, so I'm sure you know how to do the Jack Attack. And it's not talking about Jack in the Box. Of course, I take that personally, and you should take it any way you can get it. Good luck. All right. Don't really know what this is referencing. I guess movies they were in or something. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for the fucking the bitch. Oh, okay, I get it. It's uh, I guess about them then. Okay, or not? You know, fuck this. I'm just gonna see how negative of a score I can get, because I'm already not gonna be able to make it up from this. All right, we're gonna do some. Super fast tapping right here. We're gonna go warp fucking speed. Fucking one finger, one hand, warp motherfucking speed, pressing B. Fuck it. Damn it, why are they giving me all the answers in like the second thing? Well, I probably got into like negative 150 something. Yeah! That's the game. Suck dick, suck dick for 15 minutes of fame! Blowing an asshole. You don't know Jack. Jesus. So we're doing we're doing some great scores here. Uh, negative, negative, and negative. All right, we're doing very good here. 